Jessica Chastain, happy to see you Hi. again, everyone. It's been like I walk five feet, Jessica Chastain, Jessica Chastain, Jessica Chastain. It's been a buzz, a buzz in the air <laughs> all over the place. So your nine movies are finally coming out, right? Yeah. And you had uh, last weekend, didn't you have two movies back to back? Yeah. With, uh, number one was The Help and then um, The Debt, right? It's yeah, great. it's funny. It's it's the there used to be a Chastain curse. It was like four and a half years I've been making eleven films, and I would tell people, and, and all my friends said, you know, you're cursed. Yeah. And I would I, even for Take Shelter when I met Jeff, first time I met him, I said, I really like you and I'd love to do your movie, but I feel because you're a nice guy, I gotta let you know if I'm in your film, it may not come out for four years. <laughs> <laughs> but he took the risk. He took that, the risk. But speaking of that, that might be the, uh, you might be now like a lucky rabbit's foot because that <laughs> film will not, I mean, it's, it's just going and going and going and going. I mean, it was like, obviously went from Sundance to Cannes to now Toronto. And I think yeah. that. It was um, in Deauville. We won the Grand Deauville. Prix in Deauville. You oh, wow. won the Grand Prix in Critics Week in Cannes. I yeah. mean, it really is. Yeah. This film that was we made for no money and it was such a labor of love for all of us now is just taking off. It's great. You're here with um, two, obviously, Take Shelters here, mm -hmm. and also um, Coriolanus, mm -hmm. and Rafe, who I just was speaking to, who's so as ferocious as he is in that movie, which is very, you know, it's there's anger and energy, and I always think of so much like velocity surrounding Rafe Fiennes. He's so very soft-spoken. Oh, he's so gentle, he's isn't he? He's so gentle. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. And I was like, maybe it's just nine in the morning, and but no, he really is at that demeanor. It's very... I find that with a lot of, actually, I tend to work with a lot of kind of high-intensity male actors. Mm -hmm. You think of Al Pacino or, um, um, you know, de well, well, definitely Ray Fiennes and Tom Hardy. Mm -hmm. Like, all these guys that are that. But you re at the end of the day, you realize they're just these, like, soft, mm -hmm. vulnerable, quiet, sweet men. Yeah. How did you get in that part? How did you get? Because you're kind of the only English, non-English non -English. actress yeah. in there. Um, or actor. Yeah, I, uh, you know, it was a mutual friend. There was someone who I had just done Tree of Life, and um, someone from that suggested me to Rafe, and he asked for my um, tape, and they sent a little bit of Wild Salome, the film I did with Al Pacino. Oh, with Al, right. Yeah. And then I had a coffee with him, a meeting with him, and, you know, I talked about the play and talked about the part, and, um, and he told me, that Vanessa Redgrave would be playing Volumnia. And I was like, oh my God, please let me do this. I just wanted to be in the room with Ray Fiennes and Vanessa Redgrave and watch them do Shakespeare. But also this kind of the take shelter in the end of the world. Yeah. And the thing about that movie is you're like, the ending, it, I- Don't I, give it away. I'm not gonna, okay, I won't give it away. <laughs> I'm not gonna give it away, but. Call me when you see, because yeah. it's literally, it's so, it's, it's up for debate. Yeah, it's up, it's, I think Jeff, purposely made it ambiguous. And um, and he told me when I first met with him, he said he didn't want to make a film about apocalyptic ideas. He didn't want to make a film about schizophrenia. He wanted to make a film about marriage and faith. And I thought that's really interesting for someone on their, their second feature um, t to choose the unexpected way of telling mm -hmm. the story. He kind of uses it as an allegory for something else. Uh, so I think when you do that, it can't help but be ambiguous. Mm -hmm. And Mike Shannon, I mean, I knew him from, because he's such a New York theater actor, and he's yeah. kind of like a genius. He's like the king below 14th Street, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And he can't, like, hide, because no. he's like this guy. A tree. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, and, to, and, you know, he's the kind of actor that you see in a film, and you're always like, no matter how long he's on screen, you think that, you know, I want him to come back. Um, and here's a film where he's on screen the whole time. It's great. That's great. You've been a lot of, I mean, I think about it just in hearing you talk of the, a wife in the debt, a wife in the help, a wife in Tree of Life, a wife in Coriolanus, a wife in Take Shelter, and some good wife roles. Well, I, li I think it's, um, I like to work with uh, nice men. That's great. Well, it's great to see you. Um, we'll see you again. Thank sure, you. Sure, you're like our family now, I feel.